Okay, this lecture is about the Roy Taylor's Diabetes Lecture. I'll have the link to his lecture below. He also won the, uh, the Banting Award, him in about 2012, for the greatest diabetes researcher in the world. Um, he's from England, a physician over there. He did some research at Yale with Gerald Shellman, who I just had a video about the previous video and a link to his previous lecture, Banting Lecture, as well. Uh, so uh, what Roy Taylor showed was that you could determine how much fat was in the patient's liver uh, using MRI. And when you had the patient lose weight, they would lose the fat initially from the liver, and once they decreased the fat in their liver, they no longer had liver insulin resistance. And that's a big deal because insulin resistance in the liver itself leads the liver to not be able to shut off gluconeogenesis. I mean, because normally while you're fasting, the liver is what maintains your blood glucose level. It's constantly pushing glucose into the blood because it has to make sure that the brain gets enough uh, glucose. If your brain doesn't get glucose, your brain dies. It can only go about four minutes without adequate glucose or oxygen. So that's the big job of the liver is to make sure the brain has enough glucose. And the point is, when you get a fatty liver, and I can tell you, most American patients, the majority of them in my experience, over 50 years of age have a fatty liver. What that means is the liver is developing worsening insulin resistance such that part of its problem is that it can no longer accurately sense the blood glucose level and it'll keep on pushing too much glucose into the blood causing high blood glucose levels, hyperglycemia and that will start to damage other tissues especially the endothelium including the endothelium of the capillaries in your brain and that leads to problems with the blood-brain barrier, lack of oxygen and glucose delivery to the brain. It's a big disaster, okay? And so what was a miracle about this guy's research is he showed as perfectly as you could show it. You just lose the weight. You will lose the fat initially from the liver. When the liver fat is reduced, the liver will start to function correctly again and uh, maintain a correct blood glucose level during the fasting phase. Um, and the person will be healthier, dramatically healthier. Okay, let me show you the picture. It'll be more dramatic once I show you the picture than just having me talk about it. Oh, as a matter of fact, he even defines type 2 diabetes as fat accumulation in the liver. That's how confident he is about uh, his understanding of diabetes. Okay, so here is, um, let me shrink this picture here. So here's a picture from Roy Taylor's research. You got color-coded liver MRI images here. So here is the baseline fatty liver, and this patient has 36% of the liver contents are fat. And again, I look at fatty livers every day. I see them on CAT scans. I see them on ultrasounds. I see them on MRIs. It is so common, it's unbelievable. Basically, I know if a patient has a kidney stone, they probably got fatty liver because it's the same diet that causes kidney stones and causes fatty livers. If they got a lot of coronary artery disease, a lot of cerebrovascular disease, they've probably got a fatty liver. If they got diverticulitis and all that abdominal pressure syndrome stuff that comes from eating a high meat diet, they probably got fatty liver. Okay, anyways, he got his patients to lose weight. And just within eight weeks, once they lost their weight, and it wasn't that much weight, the liver, the fat tended to be lost first from the liver. Notice how it's no longer yellow, now it's blue. So he was using yellow to, to code for fat. Um, and so red was the highest amount of fat, sort of this greenish yellow was the next amount, and then blue was very low fat. So the liver in eight weeks, just from losing, I forget the amount, it was somewhere in the ballpark of like 20 pounds, um, which isn't that much weight in a lot of these big fat people. Uh, the, the liver would lose the fat first. It would drop down to 2% liver fat. So now it's blue like this. So hardly any fat in the liver at this point. And the patient would show dramatic improvement. I'll show you on the next slide what happened to their blood glucose level. It's rather extraordinary. This is an AO, by the way, academic orgasm. Okay, so here is the patient's blood glucose level. And once they lost the weight, it just normalized, okay? So basically, for the patients who had diabetes, type 2 diabetes of less than four years duration, just a relatively small amount of weight loss cleared the fat out of their liver, their fatty liver, once that was resolved, their blood glucose, their fasting blood glucose, um, incredibly improved, essentially normalized, okay? So I'll, I'll give you a link to his lecture um, and below. It's a fantastic lecture, and uh, it's worth watching. It's real short. I think it's about six minutes, something like that. And so these are, these are the great lecturers, researchers, papers in the history of diabetes. And it's dramatic because I told you, I, I went and met with the endocrinology doctors supposedly described as the best ones in the, you know, in the giant city. And um, these university doctors hadn't read any of these papers. They don't know any of this stuff. 
and this is really basic. You can learn this in a five minute lecture and they don't know it. Okay. So anyways, I, I will put the link below. You can see Roy Taylor's lecture on diabetes. This is fantastic work. This is genius level work that can save a lot of people's lives.